Motor Week is made possible by Auto Value and Bumper to Bumper and TireRack.com. Small cars sell in big numbers, sometimes with lots of fanfare like the Honda Civic or Ford Escort, and sometimes in a quieter but equally successful manner, like the subject of this week's road test by request, the Nissan Sentra. While it hasn't enjoyed the widespread publicity of some small cars, it has enjoyed widespread sales. In fact, it frequently matches or beats many more well-known subcompact competitors in the sales charts. So if you're Nissan, what do you do to maintain that kind of success? Well, you build a better Sentra. It is if it improves on the previous Sentra's virtues of performance, value, and style. Now we love the last Sentra's big car on a small chassis lines and hope for more of the same this time. But Nissan opted for a more generic aero look, one that while certainly handsome, won't help the Sentra stand out in the crowded small car segment. But extending the sedan's wheelbase by over four inches and dropping the two-door model completely will expand the Sentra's appeal to buyers who want more room in a subcompact package. And an extra three and a half cubic feet certainly qualifies as more. But that's not the only change to the Sentra's well-equipped interior. A slick new instrument panel replaces last year's flat dash, bringing better organization to all controls and providing the safety of standard dual airbags. Gauges are large and clear, though our GXE grade test car's lack of a tachometer is an unfortunate omission. We've long praised the Sentra's firm seats for having more support than the average small car, and the latest model continues that trend. It also offers a standard tilt steering column and height-adjustable seatbelt anchors. Once seated, you're within perfect reach of both the ventilation system's large rotary dials and our car's competent cassette stereo and its well-organized buttons and knobs. There's also a handy cup holder and plenty of interior storage. Sentra rear seat legroom has increased by one and a half inches, while the rear headroom remains unchanged, but it's still one of the most generous in its class. Split fold-down seat backs are standard in GXE and GLE models. And much appreciated since trunk room has actually shrunk by a full cubic foot, but stands at a still respectable 10.7. While there's less out back, the engine bay has seen a noticeable increase. The 1.6 liter four cylinder engine now produces 115 horsepower and a more accessible 108 pound feet of torque thanks to an extensive program of refinements. Regrettably, the wonderful 140 horsepower engine of last year's SER grade coupe is no longer available. Transmission choices remain unchanged, however, a five speed manual like our test cars or an optional four speed automatic. 115 horses and a manual got us to 60 in a very quick for its class 8.8 .8 seconds. The quarter mile ended in 16.7 seconds at 87 miles per hour. Power was strong off the line but expectedly concentrated in the mid-range. The smooth throttle response and accurate shifter made it easy to exploit. While the adaptation of the larger Maxima's multi-link beam rear suspension to the Sentra platform produced all-around improvements in handling and grip. Even high-speed emergency maneuvers on a very cold winter test track didn't phase the Sentra. Braking, however, suffered in the cold, with a long average distance from 60 of 137 feet. Warmer weather and the GXE's optional anti-lock brakes would have helped reduce the frequent lockup and improve stability. Out on the road, however, there were no problems in any weather. The Sentra's long wheelbase delivered a substantial improvement in ride quality. Fuel economy is also up. Our GXE manual is now EPA rated at 30 city and 40 highway. We averaged an excellent 36 miles per gallon on our mixed test loop. Increases in horsepower, interior space, and fuel economy usually also mean an increase in price. Well, those numbers aren't yet available, but we estimate that 95 Sentra four doors will start at a still reasonable $11,000. A well-equipped GXE like our test car will probably go for about $13,500. You'll get more safety features for your money with the new Sentra, including dual airbags, available anti-lock brakes on top models, and 1997 side impact protection. Overall, we like the newest Nissan Sentra very much. While it may still have a few small glitches, it improves on the previous car in almost every area. In order to maintain the success of its smallest model, Nissan had to build a better Sentra, and they did. The 1995 Nissan Sentra may not gather any more publicity than its predecessor, but to the people that count, 
the car buyers, it will be a very popular machine. That's a trade-off that the folks at Nissan can surely live with.